We've got some AI showdown news for you. Google's Bard is evolving into something bigger and better, and it's all about to go down. Last year, Google hurriedly dropped Bard to challenge OpenAI's ChatGPT. Fast forward to now, and we're in for a wild ride. Google's changing the game again, renaming Bard to Gemini. But why? Well, our Android app guru Dylan Roussel spilled the beans with an exclusive change log. Big things are happening. So why the name change? Google's on a mission, folks. They want to give everyone a front row seat to the AI. The change log says, every Gemini user across our supported countries and languages has access to Google's best family of AI models. That's right, Gemini is the new cool kid on the AI block. But that's not all, my friends. Gemini app hitting the scene. Available on Android and iOS, this app is like the VIP pass to the AI party, initially dropping in the US and soon after, spreading its linguistic wings globally. English, Japanese, Korean, Gemini speaking the language of the world. You know Google's serious when they're giving Bard a whole new wardrobe and calling it Gemini. It's all part of the master plan to deliver the world's most helpful AI assistant. Move over, ChatGPT. There's a new AI sheriff in town. You thought the show was over? Nope, Google's got a superhero duo, Gemini Advanced and the Ultra 1.0 model. It's not just about chatting, it's about conquering the tech realm. Google says, Gemini Advanced is far more capable at highly complex tasks like coding, logical reasoning, following nuanced instructions, and creative collaboration. And here's the kicker, it's not all free, just like GPT-4, you've gotta pay to play. Gemini Advanced powered by Ultra 1.0 is taking things to the next level, and it comes with a shiny paywall. How much will it cost? The suspense is killing us. We're waiting on the official word from Google. Until then, keep those AI dreams alive, tech fam.